Hey everyone, it's Drew Amborski, and today on Captain Housekeeper, we're going to talk about spring cleaning the private areas of our home. Hey Captain, if you've been following this series on spring cleaning, you know we've split the house up into three categories. I've done a video on general spring cleaning, and I've also done one on spring cleaning the public areas of your home. So this time we're going to talk about spring cleaning the private areas of your home. Private areas are like the bedroom or the home office, places where if you had company over, they wouldn't just wander into that room of your house. You've obviously never met my friends. Anyway, let's get started. In a previous video, I showed you how to put together a household cleaning supplies toolkit. So if you need to, go review that video too. I have a printable shopping list on my website, captainhousekeeper.com, so that you can get everything I suggest you need to really clean your house well. So of course, the first thing you need to do is open all the windows. We need to get this house breathing again after a long winter of being shut. And as you go through all the private areas of your house, you're probably going to do most of the things on my general spring cleaning list. So make sure you watch that video and go to my website, captainhousekeeper.com. I have a printable to-do list there, so you can check off everything as you go. Now specifically to the bedroom, uh, we want to take off all the linens off the bed. Now we're not talking about the, you know, the sheets, which you're probably washing every week, uh, according to your attack plan. Uh, we're talking about the duvets, we're talking about the pillows. We want to get those off the bed and get those cleaned according to the label. Now with that in mind, I like to buy pillows that are machine washable because I like to wash them probably more than once a year because I like them to be fresh. So you've stripped the bed off and you have everything in the washing machine. Now what you need to do is use the hose attachment of your vacuum cleaner and vacuum the, the mattress really, really well on all sides. And this is the perfect time to flip and rotate your mattress too so that it wears evenly. And this is my favorite part about spring cleaning the bedroom. I like to empty out all the closets and all the drawers, pull everything out, clean the closet real well, clean the drawers real well, and review the stuff that are that I've had stored there. You know, so much of this could go to another home and be used more often. So I like to donate it to my favorite charity so that other people can use it. Now, once you've edited down everything that you had in your closet and drawers, and you've cleaned both those areas, now when you put the stuff back, rethink how it was organized. This is a really good time to reorganize the closet so it makes more sense to your lifestyle. And if you live in a climate where uh, you have summer clothes and winter clothes, this is the time to switch those out as well. Now when it comes to doing the bathroom, most of what you will do in the bathroom is on the general spring cleaning list, but specifically I wanted to point out that this is a really good time to either clean the shower curtain liner or get a new one. They're fairly affordable, so I like to just get a new one each spring. Uh, it takes the brunt of all the moisture inside the shower, so they tend to get a little dirty. So it's a really good time to either wash it or get a new one. I also like to freshen all the drains, so this is a good time to put um, uh, some type of store-bought product that's made for freshening the drains, or you can put something like a cup of ammonia diluted with water down the drains as well. Now another room I consider a private area of the house is the home office. And this is a good time to clean the keyboard real well, disinfect the mouse, clean the screens of your computer, purge any files that need purging, and get to clean everything in there according to the general spring cleaning list I made up. Now in the laundry room, there are a few things that need special attention as well. The washing machine needs to be cleaned, believe it or not, which sounds so weird because it's made for washing but you need to clean all the seals. You need to clean the, where you dispense any liquids into it. They tend to get build up, like fabric softener build up. So you need to remove those and clean them really, really well. And then once I have all those parts clean, I run the washing machine with no clothes in it, but I put a cup of vinegar in the washing machine so it gets all the little areas nice and sparkling clean on the inside as well. Now with your dryer, you know, you need to clean all the seals and all the doors and all that stuff inside and out, uh, just like with the washer. But it's really, really important that you clean the dryer vent that gets full of lint that goes out of the dryer 
through the wall out to the outside. That builds up really, really quickly. And as we know, we've read many, many times, this is a source of fire in many people's homes. So keep those clean at least once a year. Spring cleaning's the best time. You're pulling out all the washers and dryers to clean the floors anyway. So disconnect that vent hose and clean it really well or replace it if it needs it. This is a great time to go through all your cleaning supplies. Like I said, I made a video on the household cleaning supplies that I like to have around the house, but sometimes I've bought stuff and I didn't really use it. It didn't work out for me, I didn't like it. So this is a really good time to go through your cleaning supplies and purge anything that's not working for you anymore. And another thing that maybe you haven't thought of is your vacuum needs to be cleaned. Uh, I have a vacuum that happens to have a filter on it. So that filter needs to be hosed off regularly. And I, the first time I did it, I was like, come on, what difference is it gonna make? But when I, I cleaned the filter according to the instructions and got it reinstalled, it was like my vacuum was new again. I was so happy with the results. So get in there with your vacuum cleaner, clean it out really well. All those uh, strings that are wrapped around the, the brush, get those all cleaned off so that the vacuum can perform to its best. And don't forget your broom. You can vacuum off the bristles, you can uh, dunk the broom in your mop bucket when you're about to mop the floor and then put it outside to dry, but you do need to clean it so that it works really well and you're not just pushing the dirt all over the house. And the most important thing to me, I can't emphasize this enough, if you've collected stuff, that no longer serve you and you intend to donate it, donate it as soon as possible. Get it out of your house. Don't let it collect in the corner of the laundry room or wherever you might put it, the trunk of your car. Don't let it just sit there. Make it a priority to get it to the donation center of your choice. Okay, that's it for spring cleaning from Captain Housekeeper. Uh, if you come to my website, captainhousekeeper.com, I have a printable checklist so you can check off all these things as you're doing them and make sure you don't miss anything. And also be sure to catch my other videos on spring cleaning. There's one on general spring cleaning and another one on spring cleaning the public areas of your home. Don't forget to subscribe, like, comment, you know all that stuff makes a big difference to me. I love interacting with you and I want to hear what maybe I've missed on this list. What do you do when you spring clean the private areas of your house? Leave it in a comment. I want to hear it. Okay, that's it for now. You got this, dude. You can do it. Take your time, clean everything out, get the house nice and fresh, then get outside and have some fun with a nice warm weather. See ya!